Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers. Mutton Chop Piper here. Okay, today's video is going to be about the burn characteristics of tobacco. <clears throat> the three tobaccos that we're going to be using today are Dunhill Elizabethan Mixture, Escudo Navy Deluxe, and Fusilier's Rations. Now, let me first say before we get started that this information I'm passing on to you is not scientific. I have not consulted a tobacco guru. <clears throat> this is just my own observations. This is my experience from the years of pipe smoking that I have, have had. Uh, this um, video is pretty much for the beginning, the beginner pipe smoker or the intermediate pipe smoker. Um, also, I want to pass on that these tobaccos are at the, when I talk about them, uh, I'm talking about them when they're at the perfect moisture level. They're not too wet and they're not too dry. They're what I call the Goldilocks zone. Just right. Okay, so let's get started. I'll tell you the purpose of this video after we're done. All right, first tobacco we're going to look at is the Elizabethan mixture from Dunhill. Okay, so I've got these three little jars here, little cups here that I'm going to use so that I can show you the different types of tobacco. Okay, the first one is the Elizabethan mixture and it's what's called a shag cut. Uh, it's a ribbon cut, but the, but the cut is really, really fine. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's really, really thin and really fine. Uh, sort of looks like a shag carpet. That's why it's called shag. All right, now, when I use, when, uh, in this example, I'm going to use a medium-sized bowl, uh, and I'm going to explain to you what happens for me when I pack my bowl and I smoke it. Okay, so we're gonna use the Elizabethan mixture, put it into a medium-sized bowl. I get my char light and then my regular light. After about 10 minutes, I put a tamp to it and the tobacco, the ash sinks halfway down the bowl. Okay, so Elizabethan, sinks halfway down the bowl when I put a tamper to it. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about, the next tobacco we're gonna talk about is a Scudo Navy Deluxe. Now the Scudo Navy Deluxe comes in coins and I'll show you what that looks like. That's the coin. Now what this, what the coin is, how they make these coins is they spin the tobacco into ropes or into rods and then they slice them into these coins. Now there's two methods for uh, loading your pipe with a coin. You can either fold in stuff, which means folding it in half and then again, half again and putting it into your bowl. Or you can do what's called rubbing out the coin. Uh, I prefer rubbing out because I haven't had much luck at uh, the fold and stuff method. So I'm going to show you how to go about uh, rubbing out the coin. So I'm going to use the, the little bowl here. What I do, let's see, make sure you guys can see this. What I do is I take it and I fold it. And then I sort of kind of mix it around in between my fingers like this. I let the tobacco fall into a little jar like this. Okay. And kind of pull that a little bit until it's broken up. Now you can see that now it is into sort of a shag, not a shag, but a ribbon form. It's a little bit thicker than the shag, uh, but it is now in ribbon form. So I take the tobacco that I just rubbed out, fill my medium sized bowl all the way to the top, do my char light and start smoking normally. 
After about 10 minutes, when I put a tamper to it, I go down about a quarter of the bowl. One quarter of the bowl, it sinks down. The ash sinks down to nestle against the unburnt tobacco. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is a tobacco called Hearth and Homes Fusilier's Ration. Now it comes in what's called a crumble cake. And I'll show you what that looks like. In my opinion, crumble cake looks like a little brownie. See that? See how it looks like a little brownie? Now, with crumble cake, you I would not advise stuffing it because it's just too hard. Um, this this type of tobacco is made to be rubbed out. Now, if you have experience with this tobacco and you have folded it and stuffed it, then more power to you. I, on the other hand, have to rub mine out. Okay, so I don't want to rub out any more of this. I've got some already rubbed out. I'm going to pour out here and show you what it looks like. So let's put this back in. All right, now, if you, as you can see, after I rubbed it out, this, this is more pieces and chunks. You know, there, it's more chunky. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's more chunky. Okay, so I take my medium-sized bowl, fill it with the Fusilier's ration to the top, do my char light, and do my regular light. After about 10 minutes or so, I only go down about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, an eighth of an inch of the bowl when I press down on the ash against the unburnt tobacco. Okay, so let's review real quick. Dunhill Elizabethan mixture goes halfway down the bowl. And I can finish a bowl in about 30 minutes. Escudo Navy Deluxe goes down about a quarter of the bowl. Takes me about 40 minutes to complete. 40 to 45 minutes. The Fusilier's ration takes uh, goes down about an eighth of an inch and takes about an hour, a little bit more, to finish a bowl of um, Fusilier's ration. And also the ash is really, really fine. It's like talcum powder. And that, that's kind of a unique feature of this, of this crumble cake. So why am I explaining this? What's the purpose of this video? Well, the purpose of this video is to be able to show you some time management. Uh, let's say that you have an event or some kind of, some kind of, let's say an event um, coming up and you have an hour and a half until that event takes, takes place and you want to smoke a bowl of tobacco. You have your choice of either one of these to smoke because you have an hour and a half. Matter of fact, you might be able to get out a couple of bowls of the Elizabethan mixture and might even be able to squeak out two bowls of a scudo. But let's say you have 30 minutes. Well, the Fusilier's ration is out. Um, so you could use the escudo or the Elizabethan mixture. Say you have 15 minutes. You could probably squeak out uh, an Elizabethan mixture in about 20 minutes. So let's say you got 20 or 30 minutes, uh, you can smoke one of those bowls. Now, understand me, you can fill your pipe with any tobacco you want. If you want to fill it with a Fusilier's ration and you want to smoke it until your event and put it aside and pick it back up when you get back home, that's perfectly fine. You're, you're more than, um, you, you can do that. I personally don't like doing that. The reason why is because I may feel like Fusilier's ration before I go to the event. And when I get back from the event, I may feel like some other kind of tobacco. But now I'm forced to finish the Fusilier's ration because I don't want to waste the tobacco. So I try to make sure that the time frame I have is enough time to, to smoke the tobacco I want to smoke. So, and that also gives me an idea of what tobacco I can smoke. So if my wife says, hey, we're going to the party, we'll be, we're leaving in 20 minutes. Then I know I can't 
pack my bowl with Fusilier's ration. It takes too long. But I can get some uh, Elizabethan mixture because I can probably get most of that smoke before we go. That's the reason that I wanted to do this video, to give you a little bit of time management. That way you can decide on what tobacco to smoke because you know how long it takes to smoke a certain type of tobacco. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it was informative. And until we speak again, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.